my laboratory works on host microbe interactions. And we're really interested in capturing how the host and the microbes really talk to each other and how it's a back and forth conversation. How in times of health, that conversation is really productive and, and promotes health, both of the microbial community and the host cells that are, are associated with it. But when disease happens, that conversation really can go awry and you can have feedback loops that normally exist between the host and the microbes that no longer exist or are operating in different ways. So we're really interested in how do you capture that and how do you capture that across the whole microbial community. My background is actually clinical, although not the traditional clinical you might think of because I'm a veterinarian. But what I think that really allows us to do is think about how in our animal models the work that we do really translates across to humans. We really are very focused on taking the things that we've discovered in the laboratory and turning them into medications, to antibody therapies, to um, things that you could do that would sort of reset your microbiome. And our goal is to really get it to the point where we have something that's feasible. And then we think that at that point, that's probably when it makes more sense for a pharmacological company or our, a bio, biopharma, essentially, for them to take it over. We're really working on ways where we can reimagine how you would treat a microbial infection. Now, whether that in, infection is something like SARS-CoV-2 that's a true infection, or something where your own microbes that normally live in your gut, usually, where they have really stopped behaving in a way that's good for your body. What's really unique about this molecular medicine PhD program is that we are training people to think like clinicians without having to do a medical degree. And part of that is that they really do get training in anatomy and physiology that I don't think most PhD programs do, and they have a really strong framework for training here that isn't so much dependent on which laboratory you're in. They really are prepared to do research that's much more translational and relevant to disease than most programs really think about.